Howdy, hello, welcome. World of Horror. It is what it is. Uh, or I guess you could say it's what it's. Which is technically grammatically correct. I don't make the rules. Uh, I just, uh, you know. I, I just flaunt the, uh, I, I just flaunt the it's what it's because it's a, it's terrible. It's, it's an atrocity. But here we are anyways. Uh, okay, so we played, um, played Moriko and Toshiaki recently. So I'm thinking, you'll never guess who we're gonna play, okay? You will never guess. Alright, pause the video right now, guess who we're gonna play. You won't be able to guess. Okay, did you do it? Did you did you leave a comment? I need that engagement, you know. It it was made for me. It's very important. Okay. We're gonna play fucking Heisenberg. Let's go, Walter White Jesser. I'm hunting Elder Horrors Jessup. Let's go! Uh anyways, uh yeah, we're people have been asking who this character was for a while, and it's true. And I, I think that medical history is the uh only true thing that we should, uh, really go with on a backstory here. And, uh, unfortunately there's no giant chicken old god, or bird old god, who we could infer is a chicken. Uh, and so instead we'll just- I mean, you need fire to make meth, right? Presumably? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so... Yeah, yeah, here we are. There's there's no raid today, by the way, so there's no rush either. Uh, but we are, we are, <laughs> Jussie, we need to cook. Uh, anyways, Charisma, Light Source, Takashi, Strength, uh, and then your seconds? Okay, well, you know what's weird is that, like, Walter was a pretty charismatic guy in the show, right? Like, he got a lot of- like, he talked his way into and out of quite a few situations, but he did talk himself into more situations than I suppose was probably, uh, that he talked himself out of. It's- I rewatched Breaking Bad like, uh, like a- like a year ago. Oh my god. <laughs> That's amazing. I love that he's just like- wide Walter walking down the hallway. But, uh... <laughs> That's great. That's perfect. I also didn't know if that was just gonna straight up crash the game or not. So, that's, that's amazing. <laughs> that not only did it not crash the game, but, uh, the, his alternate <laughs> outfit. Oh. Okay, so we got Sailor's Fear Festival, Vigil, Cape, Household Hell. Uh, I'm gonna be real with you, we're skip- we're skipping Crimson Cape. Absolutely. There is a strength check, so I would very much like to get that done. So we'll go, um, we'll start with Household Hell? Yeah, uh, we'll- yeah, we'll start with Household Hell, I think. I think that's fair. Insomnia, huh? Oh, well, that's that's fantastic. Now, I'm looking at these starting stats, and I'm like, these are not actually that bad. Uh, now, here's the thing. I, I do want to clarify something. I downloaded this mod. Like, how long have I had that icon on every episode? Like, I, I've had this mod for so long installed. So it's like, if the creator updated the mod, I, I haven't, like... This is the version of the mod that was uploaded pretty early on, so I have no idea if this has gotten updated, or changed, or balanced, or whatever. Um, Walter getting thrown out of a, uh, of a bar, huh? That probably happened at some point, didn't it? But, uh, actually that's probably one of the few places he didn't get thrown out of. But, uh, his fondest memory of cooking with Jesse has been deleted, yeeted from existence. Um, he... <laughs> He now has for gore the yeah science bitch. Oh, this is a disaster. I I already hate this. Like I'm just so stunlocked by the goddamn. It is a fedora, right? I don't know what hat that is. I'm pretty sure it's a fedora, but like, I'm just stunlocked about how the hat, like, just 
ends. Like, like the hat doesn't... <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> that is just so good. <laughs> that... <laughs> that is just so good that the hat just ends. Like, the hat was just, like, sawn in half. It's so good. Oh, yeah, we'll study the symbols. We gotta leverage our seven knowledge eventually, right? Oh my god. Uh, we definitely don't have time for this, Jesse. We need to get to the lab and we need to cook. We don't have time to waste on stupid books. So this is our first enemy, and let me be real with you, Chief. We're getting the, we're getting the hell out. Actually, yeah, no, we're getting the hell out of here, because look at our brace for impact. Look at that. I mean, if we hit you know, four 75% chances in a row, then we would be golden and running would be a bad idea. But unfortunately, I, I can't, uh... I, I can't uh, guarantee that that happens. I'm not, uh... I'm not magic, unfortunately. I almost... Because it this one dims the music like the ending does, I so thought that we were about to win that mystery so quickly. I was gonna be so happy. But at the same time, I also want to be able to explore what perks that uh, Mr. Witter has. Also, my reason, it's broken. No, seriously, our reason is so bad. I mean, I guess that's like par for the course. If you ever watch Breaking Bad, Walter does not have very good mental health. Um, there, there is no follow-up statement to that. I mean, he, does, he doesn't have good mental health. So animated head. We can do... I, I don't actually know if we'll be able to do both. No, we won't. But we should be able to do... Uh, yeah, I, I'll take 75 once. And then we'll just die if we miss. And by that, I mean we never miss, obviously. So there's no... Uh, that was a terrible mystery. That was an awful first mystery. That was horrendous. That was... Uh, that was bad, as some might say. <laughs> oh my god. Fame. That is very in character. He he is very egotistical. I'm gonna take you're you're gonna hate this. I'm gonna take fame because all of this is all these two are garbage. Quick thinking is the only usable thing here. If we can get one ally, I think fame is way better than quick thinking. Oh my god. Uh, I will take reason. Our base stats, I, you know, this is going to be the weirdest thing I've ever said in this game. And that's true. This, this is a, this, this is a true. But playing Walter White makes me kind of think of the Zoltan ship from FTL. Because you start out with a really good advantage. Seven knowledge. That's fantastic. The Zoltan super shield. But the thing is, your basics, you know, your, your strength. Your dexterity, your charisma, they're garbage. You know, like, your engines and your weapon systems and your power. And it's just like, you need to get those weaknesses shorn up as quickly as possible so that the incredible advantage you, you have is just like a nice bonus of a well-rounded build. At least that's always how I've always played the Zoltan ship. It's probably why I never make it past Sector 4. On hard mode, anyways. I, I've won multiple times with Zoltan ship on normal, but, uh, you know. I, I think we're gonna take a easy mystery here. So, animated head TV terror. Animated head TV terror. Remember that. Um, I will absolutely back out here. I'm not in the business of losing even more sanity. I need, I need some bricks. I, I, need, I need some bricks, honestly. Like, give me some bricks. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's incredible. But, uh, yeah, no, so it's like, I... <laughs> so here's the thing, off the top of my head, I do not remember who the author of the mod is, but I will go back and I will find the author of the mod and I'll, like, uh, probably add, a, like, a, a, a piece of text on the screen at the start of the video in, like, cyberpunk waifu's, uh, font. Just to, just to kind of shout him out. So the thing is, we don't have the schoolyard, so really, we're just hoping. Like, we're just hoping that we find an ally. If there's a chance to get an ally, I'm gonna try to take it. I, I really hope there's a day that you can make your own custom allies so we can get Jesse in the game. That would be fantastic. 
Also, if Walter was friends with a horror manga author, he would absolutely, like, talk down to them. And he, he, would, he, he would be friends with them, but, you know, he would be friends with them, right? Like, he, he would not respect the, the, the fictional horror manga artist. That is absolutely in character. Uh, yeah, no way we're gonna eat that. Jesse told me this restaurant was good, but it was actually garbage. Also, insomnia is just so bad. I hate insomnia so much. You know, it's kind of messed up, because, like, I have, like, this night owl schedule, and I just have the, the hardest time falling asleep. I have no idea if it's real insomnia or not, but I just, I cannot fall asleep. And then this game drops... Uh, the insomnia debuff, and it's like the most devastating curse of all time, and it's like, well, holy crap. True! <laughs> uh, Sailors, Beer Festival, Violent Vigil. I mean, the problem is, is it's like, I don't think we're gonna be able to get a reasonable, um you know, a, a reasonable punching your aunt, which in context of the game makes sense because the boss is your aunt canonically, and... <laughs> or Wait, is this Walter going to... I mean, let, let's see, like... Walter, to my knowledge, does not have an aunt in Breaking Bad, but... Walter Jr., on the other hand, has an aunt. Jesus Christ. Her name is... Is her name Mary? Marie? I think her name is Marie. Because I remember that meme where it's like Hank is like, Jesus Christ, Marie, they're minerals, not rocks. But that is the only reason I, I think I remember her name correctly. So Walter is going to go beat up Marie. Um, which may or may not be canon. Violent Vigil, Fear Festival. I mean, I think if we level up in Fear Festival, we put a point into Strength, it's not going to be that bad, right? Because we have... Here's the thing. We got to level up... No, we're going to do Violent Vigil. We're going to do Violent Vigil first, and I'll, I'll, I'll explain why. The reason why we're going to do Violent Vigil first is because we're going to get our shit kicked here. And, uh, basically what that means is we'll be able to heal up on Fear Festival. Uh, do I want to take plus 6% Doom willingly? Yes, absolutely. After this, after taking a bath, and by that I mean not taking a bath, uh, because Walter is a gamer. <laughs> oh god, uh, because... <laughs> I need a minute. I just, I, it's... Oh god, oh no, you can't do this to me. Oh no, we have a bandage, never mind, it's completely fine. Um, this is a perception check, right? Yeah, let's go, ancient ring. We're, we're not, we're never gonna use it. We are never going to use the ancient ring. Ever. I, I do love how we can, you know, throw the bandages into the fireplace to warm ourselves up. That's definitely not how that works, by the way. I probably should have done that, but it doesn't really matter. Oh my god, that's beautiful. So we've gotten a net minus 6% doom from this mystery, so opting into the 6% doom from these fights here is completely fine. Although we are going to eat minus 2 reason guaranteed because of it, which is kind of annoying, but uh, you do indeed love to see Billy Mays here. I'll throw the meat cleaver, yeah? and just hope that we don't miss the attack that we just did. But we did get eight knowledge, that's nice. Oh my god, my sanity, it's broken. What the hell? I mean, it's a 90% 90, 90 chance, right? Like, you, you gotta take some risks at some point. So we do need to put a point into dexterity, and by that I mean we don't, but... We, we are. Um, basically just because I want both of them at 8 for literally no reason. 
I, I, I don't know why I, I did that, honestly. So we're gonna take reason here. Oh my god, what went wrong? Can you believe it? Walter, uh, having <laughs> Walter being involved in the death of somebody close to him? Well, oh, that, that's never happened before. Listen, I... There are gonna be so many Breaking Bad memes. You've had years. You... <laughs> Why Walter walking down the hall? Uh, you, you've had years to watch the show, and I'm not being specific. I don't even know if I remember Marie's name right. This is such a disaster. Yeah, we'll do Fear Festival now, right? I do love that one image that's like... Like, first of all, I, I, I love all the Breaking Bad memes that have becoming like resurfaced recently, like Walter breaking into Jesse's house, and it's like me going into my parents' room to, on Christmas to tell them that Santa came. It's like, Jesse! Jesse, wake up, Jesse! Oh, and then, like, the, uh, Walt on the phone, and then, like, Skylar and Marie crying, and he's like, I fucked Hank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I just, I, I love this. I love this so much. And I feel like just randomly, like, this... I've had this mod installed for so long, but I just never played it. And now it's just like, yeah, out of nowhere, here we are. AUH, you can go to hell. You're not Jesse. I'm looking for Jesse. There's no familiar Jesses in this crowd. What the hell? Anyways, I am going in there with five strength. It's going to be painful. I want it, though, and we have some doom to spare. Uh, I am gonna rest, though, because you do have to remember we have insomnia, so it's like, you know. And if any of you pieces, and I do realize we have fame, so we could have had 8%, but I'm not- Yoichi for three reasons? Are you crazy in this economy with insomnia? Are you wild? Shrieks from the deep? Hello? Asphodelos? What? Anyways. I just... I looked over at the hat again. <laughs> oh, no. I, I just... I love how it's just... It, it's so good. I really shouldn't have done that. We couldn't... If we lost reason there, I think we lose the run. So I really shouldn't have just... Uh, I, I should not have uh, engaged. Okay. 8-8, eight, eight, huh? Well, you hate to see that. It's a ni it's a ninety five ninety five. She did four to all. Excuse me. I just realized she did four to all. Does it does any does anybody want to talk about self therapy? Yeah, no, he definitely can do that. Does it does anybody want to talk about four to all there for Leech Girl? That's a, that's a little scary. Walter with a dog. You can't stop him now. He's too powerful. This is, this is how Marie got the money for uh, all of the, the minerals she was buying Hank. <laughs> Beautiful. Absolutely incredible. So that's 12 damage right out of the gate. And then we can take 3% doom as a treat. And, you know, we can just get tiny cuts again, because, you know, obviously. How about three tiny cuts? Okay, no, swollen joint. Which is, uh, what does that do? Can't run from combat encounters. We don't need to run. Does this, does this look like a guy who's running, who's shamoving? Nah, nah, nah. This is the kind of guy who he's winning. What does the Ancient Ring do again? We're not using it, because it's a C slot, and we just got the best C slot item in the game, but, you know. 
Also, like, I hate, like, Insomnia makes sure that you can never have a good run. Like, at all. Which is, which is so sad. So here's the thing. We are going to discard the Ancient Ring. Hold on. I'm superstitious about this. Because there was a time when I discarded two items and it didn't count towards the objective. So I'm, I'm superstitious, okay? I'm superstitious. It's kind of sus. Okay, that, that's that's memes that we don't need to be we don't need to have involved here, alright. I would have liked some sanity or regeneration. Because here's the thing, I'm so excited to get into combat normally, but now it's like, oh, who 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 could it be? I mean the the thing is that like Everybody knows that Walter's the one who knocks. So, so who could it be? It's him. He's knocking at the door. Five? Are you insane? Probably. Uh, no, we're not gonna do that. So, I mean, we could do 18, you know? That, that's, that's, that's great and all. Uh, we could also do as a treat, you know? Uh, a 20. <laughs> and then we could die if we miss. Which, thankfully, we didn't. I really need to stop leaving the last... I almost threw the torch, I'll be 100% honest with you. I had, to, I had to stop myself from doing that. Give me more perception. I don't care about the Kurakosa mask. I should have discarded the Kurakosa mask. That's a... Oh my god. Walter's sanity, it's broken! Okay, so Desperation, this is dealing 10 damage. I don't need to think about that, because it normally does 4, we have plus 2 damage. By the way, the attack dog does nothing. The attack dog is broken. Which, for those of you who don't know, the attack dog allegedly gives you plus 1 damage, but they don't. They, oh, Ryoko works! And if Thutu works, Kyoko works, uh, Ancestral Curse, Ancestral Strength works. Okay, so here's the thing. Desperation. Um, I don't really want to lose the game, if that makes sense to you. So that is five. So we could only do six, seven, eight. That's, that's... A tragedy because you can't go higher than eight actions. So we're gonna throw the Kurakosa mask and then we're going to desperation and then we are going to uh, die because we miss a 95% chance. I mean the problem is that we can't really like guarantee that we even live you know so it's like despite having just thrown two things I think we gotta I, I think we gotta take the L here. Give me some sanity back. We go down to uh, we go down to six. Oh, you can't run from this encounter. Cause it, it just doesn't really feel good, you know, to be like, oh yeah, you know, we can just uh break the game. He was weak, but it still didn't really matter. Because, like, we, we can't guarantee anything happening, so it's like, yeah. Okay, we, we need money. You piece! What the heck? Alright, in for a penny, in for a pound, I suppose. I mean, I want the experimental treatment. That's, uh... <laughs> Probably also very in character for Mr. Witter. Do we have fetid fumes? Uh, yes, we do. Right there. We might as well rest anyways. I'm gonna rest twice even. 74% doom? Who cares? I do not. Do you think that Walter White would take a Cthulhu statue he found on the beach home with him? I don't know. I don't know how in character that is. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Is there a special action that one can perform in this fight as to not immediately die? 
Okay, so let's first off, first of all, let's see how much damage we can actually do. So we can do... We can kill one of them immediately. So let, let's switch targets, brace for impact. Well, we're terribly sorry. We've lost Emmerdale through some technical fault. We're trying to find the fault, and we will correct it as soon as we can and go back to Emmerdale as soon as we can. Until then, we'll play a little... Ah! Sorry, just the, the visceral reaction. An effective 7 to all, 32 health. Just put... So, it, it was such a... I had such a reaction to it, I had to go get up and do IRL things. Everybody has something to sell. Is, is there not some, like, bonus thing that you can do on these guys? Like, there's no bonus, like, pay them a fund and you don't die? Or maybe, like, one fund for each eye socket or something stupid like that? There's nothing like that here? Anyways... <laughs> this is messed up. That's, that's, that is effed up. Oh, good, oh, goody. We will literally never be able to cure this. I mean, oh my god. Okay, so we, we do it like... We don't even... Because of... Because of the, the damage. You hate to see it. Minus two. Oh my god. That That's terrible, actually. So it can we kill him in one turn? I'm not entirely sure we can. And remember, we have Takashi after this, so we can't just throw our heavy-duty flashlight. We need that. Uh, I guess I can throw the regular flashlight. But that's still... Does that still get us somewhere? Like, yes, it does. Yes, yes, it does. Oh my god, what a disaster. You get 20 EXP for that? No, hold on. You, you gotta get EXP for killing them both, right? You bash Mr. Coin. Mr. Pachinko attacks you. No, you don't. You only get EXP for killing one of them? What the hell? Hoomst? Now, improvisation. That's that's something that uh, Mr. Witter is very good at. Which we will take improvisation, because why not? Uh, this sucks. So, uh, yeah, we'll take knowledge just so that we're our combat's not atrocious. Do we want to try killing this enemy? Not really. I would rather just throw the torch. Because it's like, you know, two left clicks, one, uh, two clicks to the left. One, two, and then one right click. Gets you through the mystery, no problem. Assuming that you've got the, the boomerang. <laughs> the, the flaming boomerang, boomerang monkey upgrade in path three. Anyways, what, what, what's, what's going on? What's happening? I don't know. I, I don't know anymore. Uh, let's, let's walk it down. Minus three. We're good. Takashi, strength. We're good. And then, uh, mystery and animated head. That's crazy. That's wild. Excuse me? This counts as the seaside? What the heck? Nothing personnel, kiddo. Takashi says to somebody who's older than he is. Okay, so that's gonna do 10. That's that's not gonna be good enough. But here's the thing. I have a special technique. It's called not giving a crap about how much damage we do because we're gonna kill him anyways once we throw the weapon. And then there are no more enemies in the game, so who cares? Torch, who needs it? Okay, so we did... Twilight TV Terror second. You love to remember that. You absolutely love to remember that. Uh, and then we're going to uh, get the ability to do self therapy so that Walter can, uh, after he's done helping, <laughs> helping, after he's done helping, uh, and by that I mean hunting the Eldritch Horrors, he can then help himself. Because, you know, it's uh, probably not a good idea to lead the life that he leads because it's a very uh, dangerous one. And I'm just gonna... Uh, okay, so the game crashed, so we won. But uh, what was I gonna say? I was literally just gonna say, like, 
I don't know, I lost my train of thought completely because the game crashed. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, my name's in Web Weaver. I hope you're all staying safe out there. And uh, yeah, uh, have a good one. Goodbye. Um, but <laughs> Jesse, I'm asleep. Good night. <laughs>